Hi, Sirius Bruce here, back with another Antarctic Adventures New Game Minus 4 video, episode 32, and I've just hit E1080 Antimatter, which means that I have unlocked Infinity Challenge. So you can see, is it, um, let's see, is, there are no reductions on galaxy and dimension boost cost increases, but infinity upgrades based on time and, or infinities are applied post dilation. Interesting. Does that, so this is just dimension boost and galaxy cost increases? So like no remote enter in our galaxies? I wonder if this, um, I'm gonna wonder if this is, like, um, if you can abuse this challenge to get further than in a normal run, but I'm just going, okay, I'm just gonna, big crunch here because that's a decent bit of infinity points, and then just go into this challenge. So, Somehow I got this achievement. I didn't actually, I don't think I've completed it. Because I don't have enough antimatter for it. But, yeah, the achievement's bugged. And it has a reward. So, galaxies and tick speed boosts are more effective based on infinity challenges completed. Well, I have actually I've, I haven't actually completed an infinity challenge. So, um, yeah, that's, that's probably... I don't think the reward has any actual effect currently. So, you can see, I end up at around... Do I... Okay, I, I do keep my galaxy upgrades. I'm ending up, ending up at around E800 Antimatter. I need 150 more orders of magnitude. And this is probably possible, considering I only have E16 galaxy points. And it looks like, just from here, I'll be able to take hit at least E20 galaxy points. So, yeah, and somehow there is still of these, oh, there's no reduction to the, I, I this, this challenge is worded weirdly. Um, cost increases, I, yeah, this is, it's re really weirdly worded, but I'll just go by what it says. And the reward is infinity upgrades based on time or apply post dilation. Oh, so, so this is the nerf, and this is the buff. Okay, I got it. So I don't think you can... Well, maybe you can abuse it, but... Um, so, and then also make the galaxy point formula better based on galaxies. I get, that's pretty good, I think. But I'm not exactly sure how possible this challenge is. It's... Like, this is questionable. Like, now I'm kind of slowing down, and... I mean, I can get a couple of tick speed boosts and everything, but... Doesn't look all that promising. I'm just gonna wait like a day or so and just see where I end up. And hopefully it's close to the goal. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, it's been about 12 or so hours and you can see the big crunch button is right here which means I have completed the first infinity challenge. So this should make, I'm not exactly sure how much pow more powerful everything's, ooh, more galaxy upgrades. Interesting. There's six of them. Square this and tick speed boost multiply galaxy point gain. And then buff this and make it post dilation. Okay. Um, reduce dimension boost cost multiply by one. Pretty decent. Decent. And dimension boost multiply galaxy point gain. Normal dimensions boost time dimensions by an unspecified amount. Time dimension boost normal dimensions by another unspecified amount. And eight dimensions multiply galaxy point gain. Then boost all upgrades in this row based on galaxy points. So that seems pretty good. And I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I have automatically retried challenges on. So let, let's see. I Well, I can easily gain nine galaxies at this point. So I should probably. Um, I should go to automation, go up to nine here. This will just be faster. I'm just let's see how far I can get before doing anything else. I'm just, I just want to see how far I'm able to get. So, uh, it isn't really much farther than before. I mean, I am getting more galaxy points. Like E22 or E23 should be not hard to get, but doesn't really look like there's a that much of a significant antimatter multiplier. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just try to. I mean, I could go for galaxy points. I'm not exactly, like, this doesn't seem like the most powerful upgrade ever. I mean, it may get more galaxy points, but I think it may just be better to push for the most efficient way to grind infinity points. So, 
I'm not exactly sure what automation I want. Like, I, I think I completely, yeah, I, com I don't even have tick speed boost automation. I should probably, I'm just going to see how much I can get with disabling. Yeah, I feel like this is higher than what I was getting before. Um, so, let's see, I peak at about 1.45, 1 but where, well, how many infinity points is this? It's like 5.5 E3. That's what it looks like to me. So I'm going to see what I'm going to get here. Yeah, 1.4 E5. So it looks like I'm crunching at about the the optimal time here. I don't actually I don't, I don't think I'm getting nine galaxies here. It's just more optimal to go this route. And maybe I should probably get a couple more of these bulk purchases, possibly. I still don't think I need any bulk, more bulk purchases at, at this point. But they are, they are dirt cheap at this point. So... I why not get them? They're yeah, they're they're dirt cheap. I just just get all of these. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just gonna hinder only a couple infinity runs that you can probably see here, and that's it. Like it's not really gonna provide any boost. But I think at this point, I'm not gonna need any more bulk purchase from the auto buyers for the rest of the entire series. So. Yeah, that's that. At least I'm, I'm getting faster infinity points per minute. Like, I'm getting, it's to the point where even this is giving, like, E7 per day. And if I'm, like, actually on this, I can easily, I can get almost, it's pretty close to 1E6 per hour. But, no, no, it's even, even almost 1E7 per hour. So... Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, none of these upgrades are really a lot great, but if I can get this doubler, that'll be really nice. And then I'll probably push for a couple of these upgrades. I mean, this one may be decent. And it may be time to actually get this. I, I don't know. Um, but I think I'll just grind infinity points and then go for the galaxy points. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, so it's been weeks. This is way slower than I thought I was going to be. Way slower. You can see I'm up to 37,000 infinities. You can, and since the infinities are taking like two and a half seconds, you can see how slow that is. And even when I have my computer running, it's still just it's still way slower than I thought. I, I did get the this upgrade, but not much else. I could get this. This could actually significantly increase the amount of infinity points I get. Honestly, I feel like that's the best thing. This is weak, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this. I know it isn't Austin isn't the best thing, but I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of infinity points, so just getting this at all is probably a good idea. And then yeah, I'm not gonna get this one. I'm just gonna get these two. Hopefully this will just speed things up slightly. But I think honestly, because of how slow it was before to just get anywhere I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go for galaxy upgrades again. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that so you can see I'm just going to get tick speed boosts and all that. I I remember I could I feel like I've gotten more antimatter than this. Is it because I don't I don't even know. I mean, it's probably just because of my galaxy points. I mean, this it's up to 5 E19. That isn't bad. Maybe there's some automation thing that I'm not doing. I should turn on automatic tick speed boost and turn and do this to one, just so I can get more things going. But yeah, I, I thought I remember getting farther than this. Um, yeah, I guess I, I guess I can just deal with this. Like I'm still getting a decent amount of galaxy points. Should be enough to. I get this, this squares this upgrade, that'll be decent. And then it also um, tick speed boosts multiply galaxy point gain, which hopefully should make it me able to get this, I hope. So, yeah, I'm already up to E1060 antimatter. So, it's not much faster, but hopefully it's just enough to get these upgrades because the other option was just really slow. So, yeah, seeing a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and you can see 
E24 Galaxy points. So I am far beyond this. So I'm already getting this. And this jump from E21 to E23, which means I should be able to get this pretty soon. My antimatter per second really isn't increasing all that much. I mean, this upgrade at this point is extremely weak just because of the post-break infinity scaling, but it's cool that I can just get more galaxy points, and hopefully I'm going to be able to get this. This is going to buff this upgrade and make it post-dilation, which means that this 102 times will actually be 102 times instead of being like... 10 times or something, and I have no idea why these little things are just spazzing for some reason. Definitely some sort of graphical glitch. I'm just gonna ignore it. See a bit. Okay, I'm back like half an hour later, and I have the E25 galaxy points, so this means we can do this, and okay, yeah, immediate effect. This actually is E8, and being post dilation is big. That's like 64 orders of magnitude of both antimatter and time shards, which I haven't really checked. I, do I still have more time shards than antimatter? I, okay, just hold the D key just to make it a little bit faster. Like E1220, yeah, actually I do have more time shards than antimatter. So, and also there's a comment that told me I should probably have max time dimensions on. So, where is this? Um, I have, I have no idea what I'm. I have. Um, what do you max eighths use on reset? I don't know. I, maybe I should just make this big. I have, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what to do. Actually, you know, maybe it's that weird option that is not under automation for some reason. Uh, okay, this is already on. So, still do not get why that is not under automation because it's. It regards automation. And also, look at this. I am. I, I can't get E28 galaxy points anytime soon, but there's a galaxy coming up. It's the next set of 8th dimensions. It's only like 15, okay, not 15, like 20, 15 to 20 orders of magnitude of antimatter to go. And hopefully, this 10th galaxy will make it at the very least so I can get more galaxy points. So that's, that's what I want to do. See you in another bit. Okay, so I just got the 10th galaxy here. So, yeah, it's buying tick speed boosts one by one. Um, I probably, I'm, yeah, I should probably be holding D down. This does take a while. I'm only at 3 E25 galaxy points. Yeah, this actually does take a, a long while. It's, wait, I, I should probably be trying to manually tick speed boost. Doesn't that, like, yeah, boom, that gave me 20 there. So, I just want to do that just to... Just so I don't have to be constantly resetting everything. And yeah, this is still E23 gal galaxy points. It's not really giving me a that much of a boost in galaxy points. Unfortunately. I mean, actually it's doing something. This keeps going up. Um like E23. Like even the antimatter, it's maybe like 20 orders of magnitude of antimatter. Actually, no, it's even more. It's like 30 maybe, even 40, and I seem to be stuck at around E24 galaxy points, so, or galaxy points per second, or not, per 100, per, per 100 seconds, so that means that getting to E28 galaxy points will probably be a little bit of a pain, but shouldn't be too, too bad, and I still think this is the better way to be doing this rather than trying to grind infinity points, because that was very unsuccessful, and I'm still actually getting a lot of infinity points without even doing anything. Maybe at this point it might be useful to get this, but I kind of want to get this first, and then and then I'll get that, because like this is just going to be very weak, so is that, and this is going to be so much cheaper that it's going to be more worth it to do it that way. So, yeah, hopefully next episode... I'm going to have more galaxy points, more infinity points, more everything. And still far away from this. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.